my drug of choice is caffeine. It alters my mood and my alertness, and it's legal. And probably has, I'm sure it has negative health effects for me, and I'd be better off uh, using it less. So I went on the internet, and I was curious what I could find about what I thought uh, was legitimate on the internet on what legal products um, are used to get high or used for purposes other than which they are uh, designed. And um, what I found that I thought were some legitimate reporting sources, excepting it's hard to tell that, were one of the gentlemen mentioned is inhalers, uh, the canned air to clean your computer uh, screen, uh, cough syrup, which apparently has a risk of being abused to lead to death, uh, the morning glory plant, tea from the kava kava plant, nasal congestion, I think we all knew that, one I didn't know, bathroom and body spray, teens are apparently using that, and uh, my favorite, uh, nutmeg, which has very serious effects if you abuse it. I was also curious to see that online there are now programs that serve as a hallucinogenic on the computer to get you uh, to serve the effect that way. And I say this by way of, um, I think since the dawn of the human species, the human species has sought to alter their mood or their mind in some fashion. And the question, and, and done in, uh, as Aristotle says, says uh, all things in moderation, done in moderation, uh, it's generally not considered to be an unacceptable thing for the human being to choose to do. The, the problem is, is when those things are done in excess and to the extreme. And so I think we in society try to strike a balance between concepts of liberty and individual will and choice and how we think we can uh, regulate best the impacts of mood altering and mind altering and, and uh, mental alertness altering uh, drugs that in some instances we consider beneficial done to the extreme are quite dangerous. And m my biggest question that I have here is I don't know if we're better off choosing the route of alcohol and cigarettes and regulating but allowing to be legal at a certain age, uh, re removing from retail shelves behind the counter or whether we're better off in achieving the public goal of safety in a free society and outright banning and restricting it, putting it underground. I'm a bit concerned about the impact that that may have on certain socioeconomic groups who in the past in our society have borne much greater the, the weight and impact of, the, of, of making drugs illegal and the penalties that are associated with them and the violence that comes with them uh, than uh, simply regulating them to adult users. But we, we, we have such a limited amount of information and, and I think some speakers have pointed out very well that that's quite, I think Jonathan Ray from uh, uh, Urban League, that that's quite scary having such limited information knowing that there's danger. Uh, but on the other hand, it, 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 it seems like relative to other harmful uh, products in our society that are being abused and used, uh, K2's current impact is, is quite minimal. Uh, I wish that the ordinance before us were to simply regulate it in a sense of uh, restricting its use to 21 or older, uh, requiring it to put behind the counter, and uh, seeing how things evolve. That, that seems to make more sense in a product whose very nature is going to change. That the law is going to, if we understand, uh, even the proponent of the, of the law, that it's going to be outdated fairly quickly because of changes in science. And if science is going to advance so quickly, I don't know how we're going to effectively have laws uh, to ban it and we'll always be chasing it. In some ways, the best way to control and moderate and mitigate the human <coughs> species' desire to get high and to minimize the effects of that would be to not ban it outright but regulate it in the other fashion. Um, but I'm not so certain that we haven't been more effective in limiting the, the abuse and the overuse and the excess use of certain products by banning them outright. So. I'm, I'm kind of sitting on the fence about this issue, and I just wish I had a lot more information than I do. I have to say I'm also bothered by haste, how hasty this has come before us. I personally did not know anything about K2 or Spice, uh, except for a little more than a month ago. I still have very little information, and I'm wondering if we should err on the side of less government intervention uh, than more when there's so little information. Thank you, Councilman. Why don't we just go around and everybody can sort of say what they want to say. Uh, and I guess since we started over here, Councilman Smith, do you have any comments? Uh, no, nothing more than I said in the past about the ingredients. That's uh, 
something I just find unacceptable. I, I guess the biggest thing is that it it is illegal to drink and drive, am I not correct? So, I mean, and we don't... Jim, I, I would agree with you in some cases, uh, in some portions of what you're talking about, but the aspects of it, you know, this so-called synthetic drug that's out there. Um, I mean, it's, I know that, you know, we're, we're working off emotion here somewhat because of what the, you know, the kids say, but, you know, the children...